Even with the best effort, you will always have some level of vaccine wastage. So how can you be sure you have the right amount of vaccines in order to avoid stockouts and overstocking? It helps to know your wastage rate. Wastage can occur at any point in the supply chain. Sometimes it is avoidable. For example, during transport, freeze-sensitive vaccines may be exposed to freezing temperatures and then need to be discarded. This type of avoidable wastage can be prevented. But sometimes, vaccine wastage is unavoidable. For example, some multi-dose vaccines with no preservatives, such as measles or BCG, must be discarded at the end of an immunization session or six hours after opening, regardless of the number of doses remaining in the vial. Vaccine usage and wastage may vary greatly from one vaccination session to another and from one vaccine to another. However, it is useful to track wastage rates and usage rates monthly so you can begin to notice trends. Let us say you want to calculate last month's wastage rate for BCG vaccine in your health facility where you vaccinated 20 infants. You will be using this formula. First, you will calculate your vaccine usage rate. Since you immunized 20 infants last month, that number goes into the numerator position. For the denominator of the vaccine usage rate, refer to the data in your stock records. Take the number of doses you had in stock at the start of the month, 10, or one vial of BCG, and add the number of doses received during the month, 40. Then, subtract the number of doses you have in stock at the end of the month, 10 doses. Your denominator total would be 10 plus 40 minus 10, or 40. Then, divide the number of doses used by the denominator. 20 divided by 40 is 0.5. To calculate your vaccine usage rate, convert this to a percentage by multiplying 0.5 by 100 or 50%. Now, to find your vaccine wastage rate, subtract your vaccine usage rate from 100%. 100% minus 50% equals 50%. 50% is a typical wastage rate for BCG. Why do you think it might be useful to know the wastage rate for BCG or for any other vaccine? In this case, it helps to know that half of the BCG doses will be wasted. So, you will need to order twice as many doses of BCG as the number of infants you expect to immunize. Otherwise, you will not have enough. This calculation is something you will do every month for each vaccine when you summarize your immunization activities for the past month. And remember, the opportunity to immunize is more valuable than a dose of vaccine. Your most important goal is to immunize the maximum number of your target population.